So now the question I want to give you is if I had this algorithm, what is its O, well I guess, what is its big O? So it's not in, uh, because if we kind of looked through it, we already know that this is only going to be a 1. And this is going to be the same thing, because all we're doing is we're creating uh, some memory, some variable in memory. Not really doing much there. Same kind of thing. I need to look at this. This is still going to make me a T of 1. This I have to access in memory, so that's a 1. And that's as well a 1. And then the addition of those two is another 1. So if we kind of added these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this has a T in of 6. But I didn't ask for T of n. I asked for O. And so what happens is, one of the things that we'll do is we will uh, sort of, one of the rules is to drop the multiplicative. Big fancy word for basically saying uh, this algorithm right here. Uh, just like we were seeing uh, a second ago, I had something like 4n plus, I think it was uh, 5. I don't really care about this because it's super small. And in theory, I really didn't care about that 4. Uh, I, I really just needed the dependent number. And so if we kind of looked at this t of n right now, it's a 6. Okay, that doesn't give me much because there's no n, and dro what do you mean drop the multiplicative? What we could do is we could assume, we could think about this as if it was 6 times 1. See, this is what we would call running in a constant time. Just like this algorithm here was dependent on an n, this is dependent on that, that 1, that constant time. And so as a result, since we're going to drop the multiplicative, we could say that this algorithm is big O of 1. 